A severe thunderstorm warning for Coleman County for about another 15 minutes or so until 12 noon. Also, a tornado warning for Calhoun and Etowah counties that expired at 11:30. Severe thunderstorm warning for uh, Blunt and Marshall counties until 12 noon today. So there is quite an abundance of activity taking place. Mike has got something new across the wire. This is down in Lamar County in the Birmingham area, closer to Birmingham. Uh, severe thunderstorm warning until 12. Uh, 45 this afternoon. The service in Huntsville has issued a tornado warning in effect until 1230 this afternoon for DeKalb and Jackson County. Uh, just a few moments ago, radar at Huntsville uh, showed some possible tornadoes along the Jackson DeKalb County line northeast of Grove Oak. Movement is northeast at 45 miles per hour. That is a uh, tornado warning in effect until 1230 for DeKalb and Jackson County. If you live in these areas, you need to take cover now. In case you're just joining us, uh, the Gunnersville Police report possible tornado touchdown near Gunnersville High School. There is some storm damage, no reports of uh, injury. We do have a new Center 19 crew that is on the way to that one, uh, even as we speak. Tornado watch in effect for much of north and central Alabama until 4 o'clock this afternoon. That means conditions are favorable for tornadoes to develop. Flash flood watches in effect for much of north central Alabama for tonight. We had areas of rainfall last night in excess of like uh, two and a half inches here in the Huntsville area. And so uh, we need to once again be aware of that flash flood watches in effect. Severe thunderstorm warning uh, for Coleman County until 12 noon. Also a severe thunderstorm warning for Blunt and Marshall counties until 12 noon uh, as well. And the big story right now as far as tornado warnings are concerned is over in DeKalb and Jackson counties. There is a uh, tornado warning in effect until 1230 for Jackson and DeKalb County, also for southern Cherokee County and southeastern Etowah counties. If you live anywhere in these particular areas, we're looking at thunderstorm movement to the northeast at about 45 miles per hour. But if you live anywhere near these areas, you need to take shelter immediately. The Sheriff's Department is setting up command posts at Gunnersville High School. Confirmed a uh, roof at Marshall Manor Nursing Home is blown off. No injuries, all patients are accounted for. Most damage in the Spring Creek area off of Highway 205. So uh, that, that is exactly what is going on. Uh, also in Cherokee County, golf ball sized hail in the Goshen Valley area. That's happened uh, just five minutes ago. These are reports coming in from ham radio spotters and the Calhoun County uh, EMA. Let's go once again to the full picture uh, as, we'll, as we go to uh, Zoom. Let's update you once again. Tornado warning in the fact for DeKalb and Jackson County is going until 1230. Till 1230 this afternoon, Jackson DeKalb County tornadoes, thunderstorms containing possible tornadoes uh, moving along the Jackson DeKalb County line northeast of Grove Oak. Movements to the east northeast at about uh, 45 miles per hour. That is, that's no new information coming across there. Once again, this is a dangerous situation. If you live in one of these areas, now is the time to uh, take cover. Take a portable radio or television with you. Seek shelter immediately. Go to a storm shelter or a nearby basement. Good afternoon. I'm Shane Butler live at the Doppler 6 Weather Center. We now have a tornado warning in effect for Blunt County. That is until 1145. Uh, radar indicated a possible tornado on the ground near Blunt Springs, moving to the northeast at around 35 miles per hour. Looking at the storm here, you can see the uh, turbulence moving with the storm. Gusty winds uh, in excess of 55 miles an hour with strong, uh, heavy rainfall with this storm. This is the storm right through here. You folks in around the Blunt Springs area need to take cover immediately. You have a tornado warning in effect for your area. That means find a safe place, an interior room of a home. Uh, if you're in a mobile home, you want to avoid that uh, immediately. Also, we have reports uh, in East Alabama, so lots of damage in around the uh, southern Cherokee area, around the Neely Dam, uh, in around Ohatchee uh, in Calhoun County. Uh, also, some reports of uh, 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 damage in around Piedmont and those areas in eastern Alabama with the storm that moved through there. So numerous reports of uh, damage in through that area. We have crews en route to the scene there. A road commissioner in Blunt County is reporting a funnel cloud on the ground in the Sugar Creek community of Blunt County. So we can pan down that area. Uh, we are, we'll take it, there we go. Coleman in Blunt Counties. Now, the latest we have on watches and warnings, there's a tornado warning in effect until 1245 for Blunt County. That's located right about here, approaching the city of Bluntsville. 
Also, we have a tornado warning in effect until 12.30 for Jackson and DeKalb counties. Now, that storm's progressed, uh, progressed to just north of Fort Payne, continuing to move off to the northeast. In addition, we have a tornado warning in effect for Floyd County, Georgia. And I believe that's right about here in northwestern uh, Georgia. That's in effect until 1.30 Eastern time. Plenty of strong thunderstorms moving across the Tennessee Valley at this hour. We can show you a uh, super radar, uh, maybe not. And uh, we'll show you 31 Doppler Plus once again. You can see the strong thunderstorms moving across the Tennessee Valley. Now the blinking that you see on your screen uh, is lightning. Some very dangerous cloud to ground lightning associated with these severe thunderstorms this afternoon. Some phone calls. People wondering about their family members over in Gunnersville. We did get some response on that. Over in the Gunnersville Happy Homes area, there are confirmed injuries. There is emergency personnel on the scene. This emergency scene is behind the high school and they are blocking off the area right now. Emergency personnel is working in the Happy Homes area. Over in Gunnersville State Park, there are power outages reported, but everybody seems to be fine.